All right, what's good, people? You know, I'm chilling. I have, uh, I get paid every Friday, so, you know, I got my music money coming too, so too. I'd like to thank all y'all for listening to me. You know, I got a problem with rapists. I don't like rapists. I'll say it right here, right now. I've had sex with females on day two. Now, when, when a female agreed to that and when, you know, like normal, because that ain't nothing but a man-made law. I have no problem with that, but when you actually rape a female, that's something I don't like. Be perfectly honest with you, I don't care who did it. I'm not going to ever like you again. And you know, um, I seen something last night, and it was very disturbing. See, a lot of people don't understand when the female is raped. They don't, it's not a scratch on the arm. We can get hit and look at the person and be ready to do something. When the female's rape is not doing that, it's, it's, it's more to it. And first off, if she say no, that means no. So, as much as I hate rapists, I'm gonna finish doing what I gotta do. And I'm gonna send a message in a song. I don't wanna say everything because it's gonna spoil it. I'm not even gonna say what I gotta finish doing because it'll really spoil it. What I don't understand is half of you cats look at these people and call y'all, you nickname yourself all these people. Some of these people were snitches, some was rapists and this and that, but you, you don't even, you don't look at the story of these people. You just walk around calling yourself that. Lil Al Al Capone did not rape nobody. He ain't snitch on nobody. That's why I'm Lil, that's one of the reasons why I'm Lil Al Capone, but I have a, if you know some of the stuff that's happened in my town, that's the reason why it's one of my AKAs, because I'm sort of like the mafia, but I'm not going to call myself fucking one of these mafia people that's snitching and ain't going to call myself one of these cartel people that's raping themselves. See, y'all don't look at your history. Y'all, hey, he did this. I'm going to call myself that. Do you know what you're calling yourself? you calling yourself a rapist or a snitch of people that will bomb this that will bomb something and kill babies and everybody else. You might as well be a terrorist because that was Pablo Escobar, but you got people calling this a Pablo Escobar. See, Pablo wanted to get even with people. Instead, he took it out on innocent people. So he just bombed all these motherfuckers, babies and everybody to say don't fuck with Pablo Escobar. Maybe I'm wrong in a way. Maybe I'm... I say that because I know when it comes to enemies, some things can happen. But I just want to let you know, do you know who, what you're calling yourself? Did you go to that history before you just look at the murder? Better yet, look at the murder. It's how you want to call yourself that. And so uh, I came to the conclusion after seeing something last night, I'm going to give him a message. First, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to make sure I see it all because I don't want to miss nothing before I finish. And you think I'm scared of certain kind of people? First, you got to come to my territory. See, you got countries. You got to come here first. And when you come here, I've been... Lil Al Capone didn't have people killed by surprise. People tried to kill Lil Al Capone and they got hit by surprise. Like, where this come from? Boom, we finna get him right now. Lil Akabon been sleeping at places you don't need to know, but he rested. People on their way to get him. All of a sudden, pow! The shit you see on TV, I, I mean, Lil Akabon, me, I, I kind of live that sometimes. But Al Capone did not snitch on nobody and he did not rape nobody. That's why, that's one of my AKAs because the kind of lifestyle I live is mafia related. I can't call myself no mafia name or no cartel name of a rapist or a snitch. So you people that's walking around calling yourself these names, look at these people history. Knowledge Bill Jackson, that's my first name. No AKA, Knowledge. I'm giving you knowledge. Look into it, homeboy. You might think, why am I calling myself this person when this person was just an ugly person or a snitch or stupid? But that's what you're calling yourself, all because he has a history of killing people. Or he has this history of being this mob boss, you know. But, you know, I ain't worried about too much of that. Just to let you know, I do not like rapists. If I find out you rape people, 
mean you could be real close friends. If I find out you're a rapist, I'm gonna hate you forever. And if I catch you in the act, you could be my closest friend. If I catch you raping somebody, I might literally, I don't know if I kill you, but I will do so. I will literally grab you and listen no telling what I do to you. I do not like rapists. You motherfuckers that's raping women, it's out of your fuck. And you raping kids too? Come on, man. Like I said, rape and and doing it is two different things. But when you rape somebody, we might as well just get inside your brain and make you feel so much pain and make you want to holler. Then you understand what that female is feeling when she's being raped. But that's all I'm going to say. You gonna, when I finish seeing what I got to see, I'm going to make this song. It's going to be on my next Well, my next one coming out. That's also what I need to tell you. Fuck Trump will be out. Uh, let's see. What's today? Friday? It should be out Tuesday. Well, don't get me wrong. Monday, they're going to call me and say, everything is ready. Press submit. Like, make sure you want everything like this. And they're going to send it to my internet distributor. So it should be ready. Probably Tuesday, Wednesday. If not, the week after the week after next week. But that's the one that's the one I'm talking about. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you hear the song. It's going to be out on the one after that. When you hear the song, you're going to get surprised because you're going to think I'm scared of who might want to come after me. But like I said, you got to come to America first to do anything. And if I'm the win, you coming at the man, we busting. Do you think... The authorities going to care. I don't want to say too much. I want you to hit some, but you think they're going to care who I just wasted? These people are kind of, they're going to be like, wait a minute, you just wasted these motherfuckers that came down here after you? The only thing I would get charged with most likely is unlawful possession of a firearm. And I got charged with that when I almost killed the racist Trump supporter. I was finna, I literally pulled it out, was finna kill him until I looked and seen the laws and put it back in my pocket. He told on me and said he pulled a gun on me. People that was in the crowd was the ones that really kind of saved me in a way. They said he the one that started he making these racist remarks. So they looked at me and looked at him. They was like, look, all you getting this unlawful possession of a firearm. Now, it was like, we didn't see you pull it. And that's all I'm going to say. But um, if anything... That's what happened. That might not even happen because first off, when you see what type of people I'm talking about, it's like, look at Lord of War. He'll look at you and say, you think I'm finna do a time in jail at the... I mean, I get along with all countries. Don't get me wrong. I'm just telling you what's gonna... What can happen if certain people take it to their head to come after me because either I'm gonna go or you're gonna go and nine times out of ten, they're gonna go because you're right here in my territory. I'm not in your territory. People have been tried the same shit and got dead. I done woke up at the people done got killed. I didn't know until after. I just woke up like, I'm thinking it's a normal day. I'm walking and I'm finding all this out. After I'm seeing people looking at me like, that's him. I'm like, why are all these people looking at me? And I find out what happened. You don't always know what's going to happen when you really live a mafia lifestyle. You don't know that. You... You don't know what's going to happen. All you know is what type of life you live. So, all I know is, I can tell you, he feel like shit right now, and I'm going to help him feel like most shit. He's going to feel like so much shit, and I'm going to make him feel that pain for all the women he's raped. He going to feel that pain. And I don't want to say no more. I just want you to hear the song. Then you understand everything I'm talking about. Maybe I make another video, but I don't think I have to make another video. But in other words, watch who you calling yourself. I'm this, I'm that. First off, look in your history. See, I look in my history on everything. I can tell you about shit you don't know about because knowledge is knowledge. That's my name. So before you walk around calling yourself these people's names, look into them. Read about them. The shows is all right, but the shows might not show you everything. But at least look into it. Because even the shows or some show you how they how some of them were snitching. But I guess today, that's normal to some of these people. A lot of us, we live by the old code. We don't snitch. Why you think what happened to me, I got saved. They said, did he do something to you? I said, no. I could have easily said he attacked. He did. Don't get me wrong. I had my hand. I was going for it when he did. He got two hits because when he went toward me, I went in my pocket and I got two hits and pulled it out. Yeah, I could have said, yeah, he hit me twice, but 
the, the code we live by, we don't, we don't, we don't snitch, and that's why I said, no, nah, he ain't attacked me. So the cops, I think, was gonna put me in a car, and a lady said that guy was the one that started it. He was making racial remarks, and everybody told off on his ass. And that's how I really got unlawful possession of a firearm because the cops found out this racist motherfucker was pulling all kind of shit. They probably know I went off on him and yeah, he came and I went to pull that. He hit me twice, I pulled that shit out. Yeah, he bad back when he seen me pulling it out and I was gonna get ready to shoot him, but the laws is what saved his ass. And so, you motherfuckers is calling yourself these mafia names and cartel names, take a good look in their history.